<clears throat> little update in the mechanical room. I wasn't super impressed. I do have a whole home standby generator hooked up to this guy. But every time it would come on, these all the lights in the house flicker. Just the way the solar arc works, it passes generator power to the house. So I wasn't super excited about that. So I bought a portable generator so that I can alternate between the whole home standby generator using propane and the portable one using gas and whichever one's cheaper per kilowatt hour that's what I run to charge the batteries on cloudy days it's the shortest day of the year right now so we're using some generator power but I had this grow watt inverter kicking around because that's what I was initially going to use for the house but I'm just using it as a charger so I've got a separate breaker here so I can isolate it from the system with my other battery breakers over here okay. what I did was I just hooked up the grow watt to I have a positive bus bar in that cable run and my ground bus bar is in there so I ran a ground all the way up and then I ran the positive through the breaker and now we are charging at 80 amps on this guy and I don't know if I have the settings set up right but it seems to be working I'll tweak those later and I was able to just hit 80 amps right away it just loaded up. Uh, I know some people have talked about the finicky grow watt with generator input only. So my generator, when I need it, I just run a temp cord. You can hear it running. So the batteries are charging. Okay, and I just have it outside the garage. And it's a champion generator, not an inverter generator, just normal style generator. And we got four banks, each pulling 15 to 17 amps. The house is taking about 15 amps right now, so it's actually charging pretty good. And these chargeries, that uh, amperage calibration go, or the uh, the shunt calibration goes out of whack pretty quick. I've given up on trying to get it to actually be accurate, so I'm just using it as a high and low voltage cutoff right now. Grab the tool here. be easier to show you over here so we've got the tool Let's see where we're pulling 17 and a half amps that battery is a little bit fuller that one's more full and that one's the fullest so see how that works the only thing that you lose out when you do this is on your solar arc you cannot run you cannot run percentage mode you have to run voltage mode because the solar arc is not sensing current charging the batteries it actually still thinks the batteries are discharging because they're pulling 15 amps right now to the house and if you would have percentage mode, that will never be accurate as soon as you use this to charge. Unless you put some sort of, I don't know if they have the option to use the current sensors in this case, but 
it'll never see the the amperage from the charger because it's tapped it's tapped in the middle so current is flowing to the batteries and whatever whatever is needed is flowing to the house whatever is left over is going to charge the batteries so right now we're charging with like 65 amps if it's actually giving me 80 amp output I've never tried to put it over my I don't know if this will work oh doesn't actually go that high overload so it's definitely over 60 amps if we go to the 600 setting here I don't know how accurate this is being over top of that but it seems to be working quite well I wish it would tell me the wattage that it's charging with instead of just this screen of no information here. I'm used to the Solark where it gives me a lot of information. So this is actually the ground and we are pegging 79 amps on the ground. That's pretty good. So. It's exactly loading up half my generator, approximately 4,000 and a bit watts. So, one workaround if you don't like the generator input like I do. And the whole reason I did that is because I have some circulation pumps on my hot water heater. <clears throat> I got relays in here. When the generator would kick in, these relays would periodically buzz telling me that the transformer up there is receiving too dirty of power from the generator which is weird because a whole my whole home generator is the champion 8500 watt continuous with a very low total harmonic distortion and there's no need for that but it's just the way the solar passes the power I just didn't like that so Yep, little update for you. I don't know if they'll fix it ever. We are running firmware 7216. Again, the quirk with this, if you're charging from generator, you have to, you have to, when you I charge like that, if I was forcing generator, I could charge with two generators right now. We're not gonna waste that kind of fuel but you have to enable this box change the amperage to match and then disable it and then it would actually change the amperage so there's definitely a software glitch there cool hope this helps people out gives you some cool ideas off-grid living